my day just keeps getting better and better, guys. Now, obviously, it's no secret what I've got in front of me, guys. But I will say, actually, I'll, I'll say in confidence that today, even though we just reviewed the LMG, this is the coolest thing I have ever bought and probably will ever buy for the next few years. I'm going to go back on that word, I guarantee it. But in the meantime, guys, this is an absolutely incredible day. I'm having a fan moment, honestly. A lot of you who have watched my previous YouTube channel and also have seen the recent video on YouTube know that I absolutely love MVG sets. And today in front of me, I have the really rare a Call of Duty Modern Warfare GP NVG 18 uh, sort of knockoff version from the game Call of Duty Modern Warfare, the new one in 2019. Uh, that game was absolutely brilliant. I played it briefly, absolutely loved it. And then as soon as I heard that the Dark Edition was going to get a NVG set that comes with the game, I had to grab one. However, I wasn't fast enough. As soon as they launched, it went out of stock immediately. And for the last like two, three years, I've been trying to get my hands on them for a decent price. And guys and girls, someone managed to reach out to me on eBay and they said, I've got a GP NVG 18 set for you and they work. Hold on, I'll say that again. They work. These are actually real NVGs. Granted, they don't use the same technology as the real ones because they cost $49,000. But these use infrared light to detect like dark areas. And as soon as I got it, I had to mount it to my helmet. This is not how you should mount this to your helmet, I will point out. I've sort of just been creative with the straps and the uh, built-in NVG holsters on the helmet to make it look cool. But, you know, I, 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 I had to get on my helmet somehow. So let's take a quick look at them then. Uh, also, they come with this really handy like little stand for your helmet and the NVG sets themselves. It's really cool. So obviously on a helmet, these look brilliant, okay? This contrast is great. They're a really sort of high quality plastic as well. And the texturing on the side is absolutely amazing. Now, obviously because um, they're not real NVGs and they're not real GPV GPG NVG 18s, they're not quad cameras. These are, effect it's effectively one micro lens camera with three um, infrared IR laser lights that sort of shoot out infrared so that you can see them. Now to explain a bit about NVGs if you're not too familiar, real NVGs use a lighting contrast system that actually make you be able to see in the dark. However, infrared lighting systems shoot infrared light which to the human naked eye isn't actually visible light. So with your handset for example, that shoots infrared light. If you look for it on that, it's actually a really bright sort of strobing effect. So this uses the same technology as that. It uses an infrared camera to detect infrared light. And this basically is a flashlight with a camera strapped to it. That's the basic, like how this works. So let's put these on and have a quick look. Now it's gonna be very hard for me to show you guys sort of the ins and outs of how the, I have to actually put this trim strap on. It's very front heavy, <laughs> even though I've got the counterweight at the back. So these are actually uh, really, really cool to sort of wear, go to an airsoft game, especially if you have like a local site like mine that do night games every few months. These are really, really cool to have. Now, obviously, as soon as I flip these down, I won't be able to see anything because they're not actually switched on at the moment. If I can actually find the button. It's a bit of a two-hand job at the moment because I'm still getting used to how they work. But obviously, you'll be able to flip them down and then you are the coolest person in the room forever. These are so amazing. Now, if I switch them on, they bring up a Call of Duty flash sign. So it'll say Modern Warfare and then it will open the camera system. When the camera opens, you will be greeted with a screen that initially will probably be green for, uh, or sort of greenish blue tint for when the NVGs are on trying to detect it um, sort of light in the night. Okay, but whenever you're in a bright area, say if I look out the window right now, they'll actually switch to a standard green, uh, standard uh, camera mode, where I'll actually just be able to see the world through a normal camera lens. So they won't actually do anything. Now, the cool thing about these is they actually have multiple modes that you can play with. There's the NVG classic green and blue, where you will see sort of how you would look through a normal GPV, GPG. You will see through those, and there's also a black and white setting if you want like high contrast colors, or like sort of like high con an easy distinguishable between something pitch black and something nice and light. So those are actually really useful, and obviously it's got the standard camera mode as well, which happens whenever you're in a light area. So the question I'm probably gonna get asked now is, are they actually usable, functional in airsoft. Now, 
I can't actually say that anything on that front yet because I haven't actually tried it myself. However, I've seen other people who have used this exact MVG set to mount to their helmets and they say it's great. Now, I've used it around the house a little bit in dark areas just to see the functionality. You do have a little bit of a weird fish eye effect with these because they are a very narrow sort of um, camera field of view. They work very well. They're like almost like looking through a GoPro really. So you can see pretty easily. Unlike the real GPA, GPG MVG 18s, they actually have quad nods, which is its nickname, where the cameras point off in every direction, giving you a complete 180 field of view, which is really impressive. Now, obviously, I have not got £49,000 to spend on a real set of NVGs, but these are amazing. Guys, if you ever get the chance to pick one of these up, I highly recommend it, because there is nothing in my life currently that beats me flipping these down and going, Bravo 6 going dark. This is honestly so cool. Why the hell are they doing an American accent? He's like, Captain Price is in English. <laughs> anyway, guys, this is so, so damn cool. I cannot wait to use them at a real, like, night event in Airsoft. I even want to flip these down just so I can... Just... Oh, it's so nice to look at. So, guys, I'm going to go have some fun tonight with these, probably in a local field or a forest somewhere, just so I can try them out and see how good they are. These, usually brand new, will retail at about £220 in the UK. You can probably pick one up on eBay for a little less secondhand. This is secondhand, works like brand new, all it needs is a little bit of a clean. And to be honest, I'm probably going to do a lot more to that. It probably will get a paint job at some point. And those of you who are going, it's a collector's edition item, don't do that. I say, I don't care. This is mine. I'm not selling it. I want it. And I'm never losing it. I better not lose it because then I'm going to get in big trouble. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Stay tuned for the next one where we'll be reviewing more rifles, more gameplay, and loads of other like bits and bobs I can find to do with airsoft. Guys and girls, thank you very much for watching this video. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.